Today, I'm going to be playing Spy Fox 3. I know I made a big jump between Spy Fox 1 to Spy Fox 3, but I just decided to play Spy Fox 3. So, let's just see the beginning of it. It's kind of like a little video, guys. Maybe so, but the smoke's on you, laddie. You mean the jerk's on me, don't you? So, I'll start playing after this. Short video. It's about two minutes. Like I said, the smoke's on you. So if you've never played Spy Fox, this is the Spy Fox right there. He 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 wears a white suit and black pants and no shoes, and he's a really good spy. And the object of the game, the objective of the game, is to get Spy Fox to get through the whole level. Now I need to find my informant. Yeah. He has vital information that I must get back to Spy Corps. So I cannot go to the exit. Monkey Penny said he would be hidden in here right in front of my face. So I cannot go to the exit because there's bad guys in the other room. So if you're just starting, click this. I don't normally look in other people's medicine cabinets, but I am a spy after all, and I'm on a mission. Aha! So, there's the guy you're looking for, right there. Covert papers. Yes, and I'm very good at hiding, too. I hope you've got the cure for the common criminal in there for me. Here, take this lipstick. Sorry, that's not my shade. So that's I'm not a actually a lipstick, not guys. Really lipstick, it's spy a spy guy. gadget. There's a top secret message hidden in it. You need to get that to spy core on the double. On the double, eh? It must be important. Yeah, Is on the double. So? One more thing, Spy Fox. Quack sent this for your getaway. It's a rocket-powered origami skateboard. The directions are on it. Good luck. I'm out of here. Yeah. So he, like, disappears in the cabinet. So now we have an origami skateboard. So we can go to the other bad guy's room. So click I this. To together this rocket-powered origami skateboard soon. So you see that? Waiting for the lipstick message. You see that one right there? And it has it says it, it's blue right there, right? Right there. Click this. So it's connected. Then it says green. Click this. And then it says red. Click this. That did it. Now I'm rocket powered and ready for action. So now all I have to do is go in here. And watch this. This is so cool. So those are the bad guys, guys. I'm escaping. Yes. Escaping victory! No, you can't get me, bunnies, because I'm faster than you. I am Spy Fox. Oh, and I'm going down the sheep! I'm racing down the sheep! Oh, that was a big explosion. And I'm still running. And I pull someone's shirt down. And pants. And then I run! I'm jumping in the air and I'm in the air! And then... And... It, I get into a car and I'm racing. I don't want him to catch me. Watch this. Pay close attention to this, guys. Look right there. Look what the bunny does. Yes. He's really mad. He bounces a banana. See that? That is what you're trying to stop. That right there. And it's spraying on the earth. I gotta stop these guys and save the world. So this is like the first part. Chief, a giant aerosol hairspray can has been spotted orbiting the planet. And yep. it has unleashed a seemingly endless spray of aerosol directly at the ozone layer. Yep. At this rate, that aerosol can will destroy the ozone in a matter so of So this hours. is my boss, right there. That's Spy Fox's Chief, boss, right I there. Retrieved the message you sent me after. It's in the form of a lipstick container. Wait, now I don't know why, like, um, you can't see the boss's face. It's just like that. Magnifying glass to see it. Did you look inside the lipstick container, Spy Fox? Incredible. Someone put a message inside the lipstick. A it's message? in its simplicity. What does it say, Spy Fox? Please help me. Signed, Play-Doh, Pushpin. 
Of course. Plato Pushpin is the top expert in cosmetic rocketry. Yeah, so Plato Pushpin is also a master at spy. He was last known to be working for reigning cosmetics queen Poodles Galore. Spybox, you need to go to Poodles Cosmetic Factory and talk to Plato Pushpin. I'm so I'll way. be right back. Yes, Sorry, guys. There's just an interruption. Here is the number of the song you need to play to get you in. Good luck, Spy Fox. So he puts it in his jacket. Do with it. And then he popped a button. Somewhere and this. In the of nowhere. Yeah, somewhere in the middle of nowhere. This is where we're going to be now staying. I'm really on a roll. So, Let's just pause this. For, be... Let's pause it for a second. So I decided to make. These type of videos, well, because Spidey's Gaming 3.0 loved when I make these videos. He said he couldn't stop watching these videos, so that's why I'm making them. The first order of business is to rendezvous with Quack and Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. Okay, I can get them to stop talking. Like, if I don't really want to hear them him talking, so if I want him to stop talking, I click E S C on my computer. So now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into this bowling alley. Um, I'm, I, want, I really want to try to make this Spy Fox 3 better than Spy Fox 1. Now, I think before we need to, I think, wait, let's get a shirt first. Wait, let's go in here. Let's see what's in here. Wait, we need, we, let's, let's just go here What first. a cool jukebox. So let's go in here. No one's in here, so let's go back out. Let's exit this for a second. I just have to think what we're gonna do next. We're gonna have to try to get a card. That looks like a key card device. Yep. Through the use of deductive reasoning, I bet I'll need a key card to get through that gate. It's just glitching right there, I'm sorry about his head. So let's go back in. And now we're going to first let's get some shoes. How's it going, sport? Do I know you? How do you know my name? It was a lucky guess, I guess. <laughs> yeah, whatever. How about those flippers there? How about them? You can have them when I get my bowling shoes back. So he lost. She lost his bowling shoes. I'm trying sure to give him have a lot of bowling shoes. Yeah, if only I had a lot of bowlers to rent them. So let's get a shirt, actually. Can I have that interestingly colored bowling shirt, Sport? Yeah, sure. It's just your color. It's on the house today. One per customer. Trades welcome. So then she gives me the shirt. Have a nice day. Thank you. So now let's go. Let's let's put it on. Wait, no, it's in this pocket. I should only wear wait. bowling shirts when wait, I'm wait. in the actual bowling area. Wait, guys. C five. I need to use the. So let's go in here. Sorry, I just need. To... Now we have to click C five. That's how we get to the mobile command center. C and then click five. Now Sorry about the. I, I just I just kind of forgot about how what to do. Sorry guys. So now we're gonna go straight up into Mobile Command Center. Mobile Command Center. Yep. So first, let me introduce you to the characters. This is Monkey Penny. This is um, I. So I kind of forgot his uh, name. So let's You're find really out. taking the mobile command center to new heights, Monkey Penny. Glad you could drop up, Spy Fox. We believe Plato Pushpin, the cosmetic rocket scientist, has been abducted by Poodles Galore. Oh no! The only person with the knowledge to stop this orbiting aerosol can. Oh but yeah. Careful. This Poodles Galore is a nasty character. She didn't get to the top of the cosmetics world by using a lot of sugar and spice. Let's just skip this, guys. Be sure. So let's get some gadgets. We need so the very first gadget that you want it. So this is like the gadget machine. Like you can use it to get gadgets. 
So the very first gadget that we want to be getting is the bowling ball. So, so click this ball. button right there. How does this gadget? And if you want to, and if you're playing on a computer and you don't want to hear this talking about how it works, just press press E S C. If you're playing on a computer. Now, let's see. We can only get four gadget at a, gadgets at a time. Like a good spy would. So for first, let's just go back and use this gadget. There should be people here. Oh yeah, this, this right here is a bad guy. She is coming up with the plan to spray um, sunscreen on the earth. So we want to beat them in um, bowling. So poodles, we need to change our character to Betty. But first, choose this shirt because that's what all the other people are wearing. That shirt right there. It complements my skin tone better. It's a bowling shirt. I don't think it's made to complement anything. Wait. Wait, is this the right shirt? Have a nice day. Thank you. Is this the right shirt? Let me just check. Blue and red. No, it's not. Wait, let's see. No, it's not. The other shirt that we had before was the correct one. So we're gonna click this again. Click this one again. I'd like to trade this bowling shirt for the I'm sorry, guys. Colored. So now all we have to do is click pa patches. And I can use this machine wait. to make a name patch. But before, um, well. If you want to know what to name the patch, you have to name it a certain name. So look at the very bottom. You see how it says Betty on my screen? On your computer, it might say a different name. So if it says a different name, then copy, then um, memorize how you spell that name, and then go here, and then click Patches, this machine and, name and patches. type in the name that was on the board. So my name was Betty, so I'm gonna name it Betty. B E E T T And then where's the Y? Where's the Y? Where's the Y? And Y And start. Oops, I need to oh, insert yeah. a bowling shirt before I can make a name pack. So then we're gonna enter our bowling shirt right there. And then we're gonna this click start. Shirt fits perfectly into the free patch machine. That patch machine works great. I can insert a shirt and change the how handy. I'd better take that bowling shirt with me. So now it has the right name. And this is where our bowling ball gadget comes in handy. So let's go back and re we are going to put on that bowling shirt that we just got. And put a pat and that and we put a patch on it. So we're gonna click this and I'm gonna click it on me. Oh, looking good. Now this is a fashion statement, and yep. it's saying, Hey, look at me, I'm a bowler. So now we need we just need to click on her. Excuse me, aren't you poodles galore? That is right. Are you the fourth member of our bowling team? Uh yes. Yes, I am. There's something fishy going on here, and it's not my deodorant. You are finally ready to bowl. It is about time, darling. Yes, but I'm a bit rusty. Do you mind if I warm up a bit? Oh, for goodness sake. All right. Shoot. Okay, so now we're going to get our special bowling ball gadget. And again, pull, pull the schoolor, which is right there, it's is the not on our team. So we're going to click this bowling ball at the strange looking bully ball which is not actually a bowling ball you'll see it what it is in a second that's the third ugliest bowling pin i've ever seen <laughs> ugly <laughs> that's not a bowling pin at all it's play-doh push pin the renowned expert play-doh push pin <laughs> it looks like he's about to get pin. bowled over i've got to save him somehow excuse me ms galore but i'm ready for some serious 10 pin action Shall we bowl? Finally! You go first. I want to savor this moment. Yep. T 
Uh oh. Oh no. Well, that was fun. Time to split. Pushpin, he is gone. Eight, champ, he must have pushpin. Don't let him get away. And then we're gonna have to run because that bowling ball actually has play a pushpin. And play a pushpin, we really oh, need to. Away. We really need no him. It is too late now. Champ. He's on our team. Yeah, Play-Doh Pushpin is on our team. Uh, yeah, so Play-Doh Pushpin is on our team. So that's why we saved him and that's why we used the game. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.